lift up your voice and worship the Lord of all. Give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. The almighty, the all powerful, the unquestionable God, the unchallengeable God, the unchanging changer. Let him hear your voice of gratitude, your voice of worship. The one who are, who is and who is to come. Our God in January. Our God in February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Our God in September. Our God in October. Our God in November. And our God of December. The God that have kept you alive. The God that have defended and fought your battle. The God that be merciful. The God that have given you gift of life. The God that kept you in good health. The God that have defended and fought all your battle. The God that given you all around victory. I think this God desires to be praised. This God desires to be adored. This God desires to be worshipped. This God desires to be magnified. Little wonder the psalmist says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Go ahead, exalt the name of the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord. Let him know you are grateful. Let him know you appreciate all that he has done in your life, in your home, in your family, in your business, in your career, in your profession, in your ministry, in the life of your children, in the life of your spouse. Tell God how grateful you are. Tell God how grateful you are. For many desire to see this day, but they are no more. Go ahead, appreciate God. Masuka la bashentali mama. Zelebos katele grande kasantali. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Nineteen. All the goodness of Jesus. And all He has done for me, my very soul, my very soul. Of God carry me. I say, carry me. I your mercy carry me. Oh, I say, carry me. Let your mercies carry us. Oh, carry us. Let your mercy. Carry us, away. carry us. Let your mercy carry me oh, today. Carry me. We need your mercy, carry me. Oh, carry me. Spirit of God, carry me. Of your hand to him and say, Lord Jesus. Can you say, Lord, okay, Lord Jesus? I have come again to you and you alone, not to any man. I have come to you. I let your mercy carry me again. Let your mercy carry me for the many days of this year. Let your mercy carry me in year 2023. Lord, let your mercy carry me. <laughs> let your mercy, let your mercy, let your mercy. Oh, my Rima Maka Shenta Libaba. Zilege de Boto Kashenta Libaba Kasanta Libaba. Daddy, let your mercy carry us. <laughs> we need your mercy, oh God. <laughs> we need your mercy, we need your spirit. <laughs> your spirit of mercy, Masuka Lebo Shantalia. In your mercy, pardon all our iniquity, all our transgression. In your mercy, blot out every handwriting against us. Lord, in your mercy, lead us today. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have received mercy. I thought somebody would say a louder amen. Mercies of God we carry you. We are saying amen. Say it loud and clear. Psalm 62, verse 3. How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you. As a bowing wall shall ye be, and as to tottering fence. Praise the Lord. I can see that nobody is excited. Hello. The word of God is coming to somebody expressly this morning that all those imagining mischief against you, your God will slain them. And God is saying, as a bowing wall, so shall your enemy bow before you. So shall your situation bow. So shall your adversaries bow. So shall the power of the wicked bow. I want you to lift up your two hands and cry loud and clear to the Almighty God and say, Father, all those imagining mischief, all those imagining evil against me, Lord, wherever they may be, honor your word. Let them be slain. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Say, How long will ye imagine mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you. <laughs> all of those imagining mischief against you. The one of God said, All of them shall be slain. All of them shall be slain. Makuta Bashen Talimama Kakaba Shantali Baba. Zalabrando koto gashen tali mama. Anyone, everyone, imagine me shield against me, against my household. Lord, let them perish suddenly. Let all of them be slain. Kurama to gashen tali mama. So zalema to gashen tali. Rakaka bare mama gashen telele. Otolobos ke tali mama. Zazale baba gashen telele. Kupanda lika kutale Zabale brado kusantalia In Jesus mighty name we are praying He says as a bowing wall shall ye be Lift up your turn to heaven and say father Say father Whatever it will take Whatever it will cause Let all my enemy bow before me like a bowing wall let my situation bow let the wicked bow let my circumstances bow power behind my condition bow power behind my trouble bow power behind my pain bow power behind my sorrow bow power behind my weeping bow power behind every challenges in my life bow Power behind my failure, bow. Power behind my poverty, bow. Bow, 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 bow. Kaka mama, 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 mama. Saleke te gajenta li mama. Sute gazunta la la. Roko prokoto gazinte le mama. Machine tanda li kaka. Kopare mama kaswanta li mama. Zazale makuta gajente le mama. Is somebody praying at all? Kakuta la brondo koto gashen teli mama. Zizelema to gashen tali. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus. Most wonderful name, we are praying. Lift up your two hands to heaven and cry loud and clear and say, Father, unto you I hand over my 2023. Every power waiting ahead of me. According to your wall, let them bow before me. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Every power, every enemy waiting ahead of you into your 2023, let them bow. Masuka le mama, 
Salema mama ka chentelele ka prondo koto ka jinta de mama za salabo kate ku prondo koto ka jinta le mama za le moto ka jinta le mama let them bow in jesus mighty name we are praying lift up your two hands to heaven and say my father my father my father before the year is ended give me my final settlement can you lift up your voice and talk to the almighty god that before the year be ended let the almighty god grant unto you your final settlement your final settlement your final settlement before the year be ended lord grant unto me my final settlement Oh, Marie Bobo Kassanta Limama Zakuta la Brondo Kotoka Gentali Rakakaba Mama Salemoto Gentali Mama In Jesus Mighty name we are praying Still lift up your two hands I hope you'll be able to pray this one for yourself And say Father Before the year is over Oh God my Father make me a beneficiary of your last minute miracle can you go ahead and talk to almighty god that the lord will make you a beneficiary of the last minute miracle last minute miracle mama kako santa lebaba lord god almighty make me and my household a beneficiary of your last minute miracle last minute miracle last minute miracle perform it in my life perform it in the life of every one of your children hey you are the god of science and wonder you are the lord over all daddy perform wonders lord perform miracles in our lives in our businesses in our ministry in our career hey kalima kasanta something awesome something powerful something glorious thank you mighty father in jesus most wonderful name we are praying amen. i thought someone say a louder amen. amen is it too late for you to receive your christmas gift what of your new year present lift up your two hands and remind god this morning and say father, father. i am still eagerly awaiting my christmas gift are my new year present such as i've never received before in my life something unforgettable something money cannot buy something money can buy lord release unto me i come before you today hear my cry can you go ahead and touch the almighty god sakuta la passion tell the lord you come before him today the Lord should remember you for your last minute miracle. Oh, Makuta Labatika Gentali. Thank you, my dear Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Daddy, we want to say good morning. Abba Father, you are a good God. No one to be compared unto you in power you stand out in wisdom you stand out in might you stand out in riches and wealth you stand out in miracles you stand out that they will say forever may your name be praised in jesus name lord we are saying thank you for our lives sir. thank you for the privilege of knowing you thank you for the day you save our soul Time for helping us thus far. Time for totality of year 2022. Thank you for the year will not end concerning us empty handed. Lord God Almighty, this morning we ask for your mercy. Lord, by your mercy you have carried us thus far. Lord, for the journey ahead, the journey into 2023, the journey in 2023, let your mercy carry us. And my Father, my God, it's in your name I decree this morning 
concerning every one of your children under the influence of my voice that as many that are imagining mischief against them Lord honor your word and let them be slain one after the other that they slain them all and I pray my father my God wherever you hear a louder amen from this day your enemy will bow before you like a bowing wall I decree everyone that be standing before you anyone that be standing against you the word of God said to Jeremiah no man sh the word of God said to Joshua no man shall be able to withstand you all the days of their life I decree your enemy will bow before you situations will bow before you circumstances will bow before you powers of the wicked will bow before you they will never prevail against you in the name of Jesus and that Christmas gift that new year present you have asked for such as you have never received before in your life let God say to you today I say receive divine settlement one more time receive divine settlement name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Sevenfold, amen, with strength. Two, three, four, five, six. Jump on your feet and say, put your hands together for Jesus. Is that all you can do? I thought you would celebrate your victory this morning. Because I can see the enemy falling before you. Can you shout? Lift up your right hand and say with me, My soul bless the name of the Lord. And my spirit magnify his holy name. For his faithfulness and awesomeness. Towards me and everybody of... Sorry, towards me every day of my life forever I will give God praise and sing of his goodness at all times I declare and I confess concerning me and my household that every satanic and evil imaginations against us shall not stand and shall never come to pass the Lord will surely defend us on every side and the desire of the wicked over our lives shall be truncated and be destroyed I declare I declare and I decree that anyone born a woman imagining evil against me they shall all be slain and they shall all perish my fear shall be upon them all the days of their lives I declare and I proclaim I am a victor I am a champion I am a winner and I will overcome in life and I will rejoice over all my adversary. And the Lord will increase me on every side. I will finish well. I will finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to hell. I will reign eternity. I will love the Lord. And I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. I bless the Holy Ghost for one minute. Masuta la botika shentali. Rakuta bale baba kashentelele. Zukale brondo koto kashentali mama kasontali. Rakaka pale kuta gazanda. Jema lipoto kapali mama. Zabo shepa liputo kusantali. Thank you, Father, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. May the Lord honor your declaration 
and all your decrees may your confession not go unanswered you will testify very soon and any part that want to revive your confession let God destroy them in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit can you say that amen with excitement even as you go ahead and praise the almighty God and jam your hands together and make a joyful noise unto the Lord and scream for joy amen and amen do I have your permission to pray for you your enemy shall bury their head in shame I repeat your enemy shall bury their head in shame one more time and for the last time your enemy shall bury their head in shame when tomorrow next year you believe it is now shout a powerful amen be seated very quickly Jesus Lord of all now what we are looking at yesterday and we continue this morning and our test remain Romans chapter 10 verses 11, 12 and 13 you can open your Bible Romans 10 verses 11, 12 and 13 and I read for the scripture said whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed Anything that has to do with shame will disappear. But there is no difference between the Jews and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Verse 13 Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be what? Shall be saved. Praise the Lord. Our God is the Lord over how many? Oh. And yesterday we defined what it means to be Lord over all. And I remember telling us to be Lord over all is to be in charge, is to control is to rule in the affairs of men. Praise the Lord. When you are Lord, in all challenges, you will call upon him and you will be saved. Praise the Lord. And we told us why he could control the wind and the sea and they will obey him. We told her how death equally obey him. Praise the Lord. And we told her he's the Lord over all principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in where? High places. Praise the Lord. And we told us what we are to do for the Lord to be Lord over our lives. Remember telling us that we are to do all, surrender all to him. And we are to consciously, deliberately, intentionally invite him and hand over everything to him. Well, let us jump this morning as we continue looking at the Lord of all. What are the implications of the scripture saying that Jesus is Lord of all. Number one for today, the scripture is saying there is no any other God. How? Beside him. He's the Lord of all because there is no any other God. How? Beside him. Isaiah 45 has said that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me 
I am the Lord and there is none else and so because there is no any other God beside him he is the Lord of all and only him must be served only him must be what? that means you cannot afford to serve any other God beside him praise the Lord and so if you are still one leg in one leg out I advise and I counsel you please bring in the two legs don't leave anyone outside because it's not going to pay you I pray for you may the law forever be your Lord only one person saying amen. amen number two implication of the Lord of all is that with him there is no impossibility he makes impossibility possible he makes impossibility possible with him that's why all throughout the Bible there wasn't a single case that was this that was difficult or impossible before Jesus. All cases brought before him, all cases that he intervened, he turned impossibility to what? And that's why I am praying for somebody, sir. In this remaining few days of the year, whatsoever that been impossible to accomplish in your life, let the Lord of all surprise you. Jesus, the Lord of all, will surprise you. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. That's why Jeremiah 32 verse 10 says, Behold, I am the Lord. The God of what? Of flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Because he's the Lord of all. Praise the Lord. That was why in Matthew chapter 8, you read from verse 1 to 4, when a leper came to him, a leper knows the implication of his leprosy. But he came to him because he know being the Lord of all, he is also the Lord over what? Leprosy. I am praying for somebody, sir. Between now and 31st, whatever impossibility in your life, the Lord of all will make them possible. Then the leper approached him and said to him, Praise the Lord. He said, Lord, if thou will, thou can make me clean. If thou will, thou can do what? Make me clean. <laughs> Hello. The Lord over leprosy. The Bible says, and Jesus. Let's just say, and Jesus. I'm reading uh, verse what now. And Jesus did what? Put forth his hand. And did what? And touched him. You feel touched leper? Hmm? <laughs> the Lord of all did what? Put forth his hand. And what? Touched him. Saying, I will. <laughs> I what? I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Who need a touch here this morning? Can't you lift up your two hands and say, Lord, put up your hand. You are the Lord of all. Touch me also. I need your touch. Make the impossible in my life possible. 
Can you go ahead and talk to him? He said, I will. <laughs> I will. For I am the Lord of all. Masuka Labashen Talia. Zalekete Kazunta Limama Kazunta Limama. Rabone Kazunta Labrande Kazunta Lia. Thank you, mighty Father. May you receive a touch in the name of Jesus. A touch that will turn every impossibility in your life to possibility. And I decree we are ever my father will hear a louder amen. You will not go into your 2023 with that impossibility. Mazuta la brende kasantalia and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. What are the implications that he is the Lord of all? Number three. Because he is the Lord of all, he changes not. He does what? Oh. And that has a lot of implications. And that's why I congratulate you. Anything that has been prepared to consume you will fail. Because your God is the Lord of all. Oh. And the Bible says in that Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, for I am what? Oh my God, you are not opening your Bible. You are waiting for engineer. They will disappoint you. Praise God. Now they've given you wrong scripture. That's the beginning of the disappointment. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. Want to go? For I am what? the Lord. I change it now. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Hear me as I hear God. You shall not be consumed. 2023 will not consume you. Because he's the Lord. 2023 will not consume you. He says, I change it now. That is why ye sons of Jacob are not what? Is, is, is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Hebrew 38. Jesus Christ. What? The same. When? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, pari. That's why you cannot be consumed. Your enemy will not consume you. Poverty will not consume you. Sickness will not consume you. Witches and witches will not consume you. Affliction will not consume you. House of wickedness will not consume you. Your adversary will not consume you. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. I am the Lord. I change it not. God will forever be your God. The implication of I am the Lord, sorry, the implication of the Lord of all is that he changed not. And because he changed not, his promises does not fail. His promises does not what? He is able to bring all his promises to pass. Listen to me, sir. There is somebody here seated listening to me. What God has promised you for 2022 that you have not received between now and 31st. <laughs> Between now and thirty first, that promise there shall be a performance. Uh -uh. We just said that he changed it, no, isn't it? It doesn't matter how long. I say he have not said it. If you read Exodus chapter six, verse eight, he said, "And I will bring you in." Unto the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and I'll give it you for an heritage. I am what the Lord. What he had promised, he performed it. He changed no, he's the Lord, the Lord of all. How many of you believe that something can see happen? There is a miracle on my way. <laughs> there is a miracle on my way. There is a miracle.
There is a miracle. There is a miracle on my way. Who, who, who? I thought I'm the only one singing. Okay. There is a miracle on my way. I don't know about you. There is a miracle on my way. I said, There is a miracle. There is a miracle. There is a miracle on my way. Beloved, he can still do something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so confident. And listen, you know, and I'm just saying it jokingly. Oh. You will congratulate me before the end of the year. Oh. <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said you will congratulate me before the end of the year. I thought you would tell your neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. <laughs> neighbor. 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 <laughs> You will congratulate me. Uh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Oh, that look impossible. You made them possible. If you are that fellow, say, Lord, amen. amen. Beloved, what are the implications? That is the Lord of all. Sama. Every remaining battle, he will fight and win. Amen. He has never lost any war before because he's the Lord of all. I told you that yesterday. How when Joshua was fighting the Ammonites, praise the Lord, and uh, those that were slaughtered with hailstone. We are more than those that the children of Israel slaughter by their hand. Amen. When God is fighting for you, He can use anything to fight because He's the Lord of all. That's where we are going. He can use all. You know that God can use dust to fight your enemy. Do you know that God can use the ground to fight the enemy? Do you know that God can use the air to fight your enemy? Do you know that God can use the sun to fight your enemy? Do you know that God can use the moon to fight your enemy? Do you know that God can use the stars to fight your enemy? Do you know that God can use water? Water to fight your enemy? Do you know that God can use food to fight your enemy? Why? Because he's the law of what? Including all those things that you think they are not important. I want to ask you, sir. I want to ask you. What do you want God to use to fight your enemy? <laughs> if you like, say you wicked. <laughs> Praise God. I said, what do you want God to use to fight your enemy? Stand on your feet. I stand upon this altar even before you pray. All those enemy that say they want to go and trouble you in year 2023 the Lord over the ground will use the ground to fight them the Lord over the waters will use water to fight them the Lord over the air will use the air to fight them the Lord over the sun, the moon, the star will use it to fight them it's up your two hands and say father, father you are the lord of all whatever you need to use to fight every enemy that are preparing to follow me to 2023 to make 2023 difficult for me to frustrate me in 2023 <laughs> lord arise fight for me Open your mouth and cry to the mighty God. <laughs> hey, Kalaba Santalia. Fight by the ground. <laughs> Fight by the air. Fight by the waters. Fight with the sun. Fight with the moon. Fight with the stars. Pala Pota Gashenta Limama. And they breathe the air. Let them breathe trouble. Masuta Lala. And they walk on the ground. Let the ground consume them. 
Salabo Shantalala Galekte Kazuntalia Kabo Shapala Bakata Lake Telele Kazuntala Braneka Santalia Hey Jesus my chine we are praying the Lord over all wanted to fight for his servant Moses all he needed to was to open the ground and Korah and Abiram were swallowed by the ground hello when he fought for the children of Israel all he needed to do was for Pharaoh to be drowned in the rest the Bible said and he went down like lead praise God I say praise God what was in the Kerib? he falls in the Kerib with star praise the Lord oh in the land of Egypt he fought with flies he fought with lies he fought with dust can I pray for you Stretch forth your hand. We are talking about the Lord of all. Listen to me. God Himself used to He, he loved to prove that He's the Lord of all. All the ten plagues in Egypt were for God to prove only one point that He is the Lord of all. There was nothing He did not use to prove a point. Your enemy are in trouble, though. Yeah. I say your enemies are in trouble. Yeah. I pity those fighting you. I pity those that are against you. Because the Lord will take over your battle. And you can be very sure he cannot be defeated. You can be very sure he's not going to lose. It all those sense. Kalima Kasantalia. Your destiny must change. Good things must happen in your life. Anyone that has sworn that where God has ordained you to get to, that you will never get there. The Lord of all shall arise for you. Whatsoever he needs to fight for you, let God use it now and fight for you. I say, let God use it now and fight for us. In the name of Jesus, the wind will walk against your enemy. The sun, the moon, the star will walk against your enemy. The ground will walk against them. The sea, the waters will walk against them. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Put those hands together for Jesus. Be seated in his presence. What are the implications that he is the Lord of all? I'm trying to jump some so that I can conclude. Praise the Lord. Because he's the Lord of all, sir, man. All things hear him. How many things? things. Including this microphone. (laughs) Including this altar. Both living and non-living things hear him. Hello? Both what? There is nothing, sir. All things have ear and they hear God. And because he's the Lord of all, there is nothing you cannot use to deliver your miracle. Hello? And that's why I want to stop this morning. There's nothing you cannot do all. To do all. To deliver your miracle. Including the chair you are sitting on. Including what? The chair that you are sitting on. It was the same net that was useless in the hand of Peter that is still used to give him his miracle of us. I'm asking you now. Eh? Sir, ma, a blind man came to him. All he need to do is to spit on the ground and make the mud and did what? And give him a brand new eyes. Dust. 
spat on the ground, turned it to a mud, put it in the eye, and said, Go and wash. Praise the Lord. Hello. Hello. I say hello. I say hello. Nothing. You can take five loaves of bread and two fishes and perform what? Miracle. Nothing. You can decide to use water and perform what? Miracle. Anything available to him, he can use to do what? Perform. Sir, you want to do something this morning? I don't know what you have. That was why Elisha had that widow. What do you have? It's a small bottle. That is enough for miracle to happen. Say, go and borrow vessels. The Lord of all cannot be limited. He cannot be what? Please, sir, please, ma. I am begging you in the name of God Almighty. Stop limiting God. God is not going to answer you the way you think the answer is going to come. Because some of us are praying and as you are praying, you are using your brain to work out how the answer will come. No, sir. The Lord of all can use anything. All you want is what? Answer. What do you want? Results. How the results will come? Is it your own business? So why are you bothering yourself about how it will happen? Instead of you bothering yourself about Jesus, you bother yourself about how it will what? It will happen. Hear me as I hear God. In that name that is above every other name. How he will do it, I don't know. But he will do something for you. The Lord of all will use all he has to do something for you. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Can I ask you, sir? Can I ask you, man? What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? If you don't have anything, you have hand, isn't it? You have leg. You have eyes. And that's enough for miracle to happen. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. Lift up your two hands to heaven. You are going to cry this way. And say, Lord Jesus. You are the Lord of all. All I need is a miracle. Whatever you want to use. Whoever you want to use. How you want to do it. I don't want to know. All I am asking. Prove that you are the Lord of all. And give me my own miracle. My last minute miracle. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? He is the Lord of all. He can use anything to perform your miracle. Ah, Marima Tagajen Talimama. Zaka Labato Kashin Talimama. Zaka Kutalabo Tekeshen Talimama. Hey, Kalianda Lepoto Gabrande Kasun Tali. Zakole Gazan Talimama. Are you praying at all? Are you praying at all? <laughs> Oh, the Bible says he himself know what to do. <laughs> hey, when you were asking Andrew <laughs> how to feed the thousands of people, he said he himself know what to do. <laughs> Palima Kasantalia. The Lord know what to do for you to receive your last minute miracle. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we are praying. Stretch out your hands to the altar. My father, my father, my father. You are the Lord of all. You have proven it again and again. He 
here we are in your sanctuary. Here we are standing before your altar. By these men shall know that even in our generation you change it not. You remain Lord of all. I bow myself down before you on behalf of everyone under the influence of my voice. And as many listening to us on radio or online, Daddy, whatever you want to use, whoever you want to use, however you want to do it, before 31st, law before 31st, law before 31st, law before 31st, perform that miracle in our lives with the name of Jesus. Amayebole gazantan dalikaka. Sapole gazoton dalikaka palabra. Yepote gazwanta gazente limama. Let God perform that miracle for you in the name of Jesus. Daddy, if you are the Lord of all, who is it that has right to disobey you? All things obey you. Whatever you want to use to deliver our miracles, let them obey you. No, in the name of Jesus. Let the ground obey you for our sake. Let the air in the atmosphere obey you for our sake. Let the sun, the moon, the star obey you for our sake. Let water obey you for our sake. Let men all over planet obey you for our sake. Thank you, Father. You alone shall take the glory. No man will share your glory with you. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. It will be offering. I mean, I believe that something has happened. If uh, you don't believe, you will see the result. It will be offering. I say, Father. Give me financial miracle also. I provoke my last new miracle by my seed this morning. Thank you, Father. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Kalima to Kashin Tali, Mama. Mazolobo to Kashin Tali. Koprondoko to Kazin Tali, Makasan Tali. Thank you, Mighty Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Congratulations. I will hear your testimony. See you in the evening by 5.30. What time? I hope we agreed that yesterday. Please tell those that are not here so that they don't miss so much before they come by 6 o'clock. And all I know is that your 2023 will be far better than 2022. Later this evening, there will be house fellowships in our centers. The grace.